Hi, I'm Jean from Harvard University. Today, I'm going to talk about TEO, a learning-based algorithm that accelerates traffic engineering in wide area networks. This is a joint work with Francis from Microsoft Research, Rachi, Justin, and Sasha from Cornell, as well as my PhD advisor Minglan. First, what is a wide area network? The Interdata Center Wide Area Network is a network that connects data centers worldwide. It becomes increasingly large with more data centers, from a few sites to tens of sites or hundreds of sites. And a future wide area network is projected to have thousands of sites. On these wide area networks, traffic engineering system has been implemented. For every five minutes, the T controller takes in wide area network topology with linked capacity. As well as traffic and demands for the next five minutes, such as two terabytes from Seattle to Miami, the T controller output traffic allocations on a predefined path. For example, there could be four paths from Seattle to Miami, and the T controller will decide how much traffic is on each of these four paths. However, the T controller scales poorly as the wide area network grows larger. Let me show you an example. For example, we have a network with 1.5 k nodes and 8 k edges. As TE is essentially a linear programming problem, LP solvers are widely used, such as Groby. Due to the sequential nature of the LP solver, it is very slow to compute the optimal solution. In our example, it takes 5.5 hours to output the optimal solution with 95% of demand satisfied. To make TE faster, recent approaches such as POP from SOSP21 decomposes the TE problem into a few sub-problems and concurrently solves them with LP solvers. But this limited parallelism is still too slow with 10-minute computation time. Meanwhile, because of the decomposition, it is suboptimal with only 75% of demand satisfied. We can see the root cause of the scalability problem is actually the sequential nature of limited parallelism. To tackle this, our key insight is that neural network inference unlocks massive parallelism. Neural network inference is highly parallelizable because it largely consists of parallelizable matrix multiplication. By leveraging thousands of GPU threads, the neural network inference can be quite fast. And it can also achieve near optimal solution through exploiting the regularity in our abundant training data. However, using neural network inference for T is challenging. First, for the input, how to model the T problem with neural networks? Graph neural network or GNN is a natural fit for such graph structured problem. It does message passing between local neighboring nodes to learn graph features. However, it misses a global view for traffic flow. Suppose there is a traffic flow from a source to a destination far away, we cannot capture the feature for this traffic flow through local nodes. To solve this problem, we design flow GNN to extract flow features, which are compact vector capturing a learned representation of flows. Let's look at this example. We create two types of GNN nodes, one type is edge node for edges. As there are traffic flow from one source to another destination, we also create path node for paths that these flows traverse. The message passing between GN nodes captures the demand constraints and capacity constraints. If an edge is on a path, we will create a message passing between the corresponding edge node and path node. Edge nodes send capacity usage information to path nodes, and path nodes send back flow allocation information to edge nodes. In this way, we mimic the capacity constraints for flows. There is also another message passing among path nodes from the same source and destination. In order to mimic the demand constraints, where demands must be allocated on this path. Now that GN has learned feature for TE, our next challenge is on the TE controller. In a large network, how to address the millions of traffic allocations? Usually, a policy network will map the flow feature learned in past nodes to traffic allocations. However, in such a large network, the policy network for all the demands is gigantic. A 
A graph with 1,000 nodes can have 1 million demand pair from each source to each destination, further resulting in 1 trillion ways in the policy network, which is too many to learn. Instead, we use lightweight policy network shared across demands. This policy network independently allocates demands toward one T objective. To learn this policy network, we use multi-agent reinforcement learning, which treats each demand as an individual RL agent, and this agent works cooperatively to optimize a global T objective. Our final challenge is in the output. How to enforce the capacity constraints on the traffic allocations? The previous neural networks are not capable of enforcing constraints. As the right figure shows, it can only output a coarse traffic allocations outside the green area for constraint-satisfying allocations. One naive solution is to draw traffic allocations to fit constraints, but we will lose optimality. That is, we will end up in a point satisfying constraints but far from the optimal solution. Therefore, we leverage ADMM, a constraints optimization algorithm, which iteratively fine-tunes the traffic allocations from the upstream neural networks in order to satisfy more constraints. Why ADMM? First, ADMM allows us to start from an initial point that violates the constraints, just like an output from the neural networks. Second, ADMM is highly parallelizable. Finally, when WOMP started with a neural network output, two to five fast iteration will be enough to significantly improve the solution quality. Here is a summary of TO. TO is composed of three parts to tackle the three previous challenges. Flow GN, the first part, extracts the flow feature to model the TE problem. Multi-agent RL, the second part, maps the flow feature to traffic allocations. ADMM, the third part, fine-tunes traffic allocations for capacity constraints. Our evaluation setup is as follows. We use network traffic from Microsoft Production WAN. This real traffic data are transformed into other topologies of various sizes. As for baselines, we denote LPO as the solution from the LP solver. Since LP solver can be slow, another baseline, LP top, allocates top 10% of demands with LP solver and pins the remaining demands onto the shortest path. We adopt a state-of-the-art decomposition-based TE scheme, POP from SOSP21. We have also compared with other baselines such as NCFlow from NSDI21, but the results are omitted in this talk due to the time limit. As for the metric, our objective here is to maximize total flow, and we normalize our results into satisfied demands. Our evaluation shows that TO significantly accelerates TE. In this figure, x-axis is the number of nodes, and y-axis is the computation time. TO allocates traffic within one second in larger networks. LPO is not stable on our largest network, ASN, and is over 600 times slower in KDL. LPTOP is almost 200 times slower in ASN, while POP is over 600 times slower in ASN. Apart from being fast, TO also generates near-optimal traffic allocations. In this figure below, x-axis is the number of nodes and y-axis is now the percentage of satisfied demand. TO satisfies around 90% of demand in larger networks. LPO, an optimal TE scheme, satisfies 3% less demand than TO on KDO. The gap is because while the LPO is spending time computing the next traffic allocations, the T system is forced to reuse the previously computed allocations, leading to suboptimal results in practice. LP top satisfies 6% of demand less, while POP satisfies 14.5 less. In conclusion, TO substantially accelerates large-scale TE with deep learning, while achieving near-optimal traffic allocations. Our key insights is that neural network inference unlocks massive parallelism. With this encouraging result of our work, we believe that TO has opened the door to a new paradigm of applying ML in networking, 
which is accelerating network problems in addition to its conventional uses. Thank you.